Hey there, I'm Emily. I am the staff product manager for Webflow Analyze. Uh, we are so excited today to introduce visual analytics in Webflow. Uh, it's not just a new feature. It is a completely new way to understand and improve your site directly inside the canvas. So here today to show off visual analytics and to dig into some Webflow sites, I'm joined by Corey. Hey everybody, I'm Corey. I lead the brand web team here at Webflow. So um, our team is primarily behind the design and build and uh, continued iteration of the Webflow Calm site uh, that we'll dig into today. Great. Now, Corey, before Webflow Analyze, I know it's been a challenge to understand how visitors interact with the site that you put so much effort into building. Yeah. Absolutely. Uh, you know, we've had analytics, of course, uh, across the site and platform uh, forever, but uh, they're oftentimes different tools, different places we have to go, people we have to ask to get some of these insights. And that can be a lot more friction along the way of especially after launch, when you're going into that mode of like taking the site to the next level, seeing how people are using it, making actual data driven decisions on how you're going to improve, seeing the data right here. Uh, not only in Webflow as it was before, still is, but now directly on the canvas is really that next level of efficiency for us. Let's jump into the Webflow comp site uh, to see how it's looking in Webflow Analyze. Uh, and in just one click, I can hop into Analyze mode. Uh, so this gives me a bunch of data about how visitors actually interact with the site. No needing to jump to other tools or reconcile different systems. Uh, we, of course, we have very basic visitor stats like sessions, visitors, bounce rate. But what we're excited to show you today is what visitors do on the site, how they engage. Here I see top events, what visitors click on most, automatically pinned to Webflow elements on the page. I can see the top 50 most clicked elements all automatically captured, so I don't have to do a thing. This makes it so easy to understand at a glance what visitors are engaging with on this page. Yeah, this is so huge. Um, one thing I want to call out too is especially the fact that these are bound to elements on the page. So even as we've already been iterating some um, on the site and done some slight adjustment of where elements are, like the big CTA right there and the hero was in the top right. We're now experimenting with moving it down slightly. So we'll see if there's any change in engagement from there. But the fact that it is bound to those instead of like a um, higher level um, attachment or even a tribute or something like that really gives you um, that higher level of control. And I love the fact that it's automatic. Like we literally had to do almost nothing <laughs> to set all this up. Webflow is automatically just uh, hooking onto those links and tracking them for us. So the great thing about this auto capture means that you can understand exactly where visitors are voting with their clicks, oftentimes learning things that would have been just too much effort to actually track every single little thing. Uh, for example, if we're looking at the audience filter here, this has a drop down that shows what persona people are interested in pursuing as they're looking at the agenda. Here we can see creators, devs, and agencies. Yeah, this is so awesome. I think especially I love the fact that it has the little icon in the UI showing that those are hidden elements and giving us that insight so quickly and again, automatically. I think the other thing to call out here too is the world that we live in is moving faster than ever before, you know, dare I say, because of AI or otherwise. And when we move fast, we're making iterations. Sometimes it's hard to always remember and check off the areas like this that need to be tracked or could give us insights to be tracked later. And so again, this happening automatically is just huge and saves us so much time and peace of mind knowing that like it's going to get captured one way or another. So if click maps are one half of visual analytics, the other half is scroll depth. So visual analytics now also includes scroll depth, which reveals exactly how far down the page visitors scroll. You can navigate to this ruler, which is always present in analyze mode, showing the exact drop off of how many visitors made it this far down the page. Uh, and in a moment's glance, you can just uh, press the shift key and see exactly how many visitors made it as far down to see this particular button. But even more than that, we know that scroll depth can be very visual. So we have gradient mode, which pulls in a really colorful overlay. So it's very easy to see at a glance uh, where there's a lot of engagement on your site in the red and see it. Uh, fade away to blue as more visitors drop off the page. 
Yeah. Gradient mode is like my favorite. It's so fun and visual. And especially for, you know, the average call we're walking through the current state of a page, seeing how people are going through it uh, really just helps it be so quick to know, you know, are people making it down to this level? And even just the way that shortcuts and things are integrated to know even this example of the agenda is so great because as we roll out more of the agenda leading up to comp, you know, this is all the more reason we can maybe bump it up a little further, make sure people know what to expect and all the exciting content that's coming. Okay. Well, it is two months until Webflow Comp, so plenty of time for more optimizations and experiments uh, to run on this page. Thank you so much for joining us, Corey. Yeah, thanks so much for having me. Thanks so much again for this amazing feature. We're excited to see it keep growing and evolving, and we're really excited to keep using it all the way up to Webflow Comp. Again, those that are out there, please don't forget to register for Webflow Comp. So many awesome announcements coming. We hope to see you there. That is what Analyze is all about. While most analytics tools show you the data, they don't show you what it means for your design. Visual analytics with Webflow Analyze flips that. The data is already mapped to your site, so you can instantly see what's working and what needs a rethink. Even better, with native analytics, we can build these rich analytics without invasive tracking or heavy performance scripts. It's powerful, but responsible. Both click maps and scroll maps are live now in Analyze, so you can start understanding visitor behavior today. So this launch signals something bigger. Webflow isn't just where you build your site, it's where you grow it. We're building a platform for the full life cycle, from creation to iteration to optimization, all in one place. So whether you're a solo designer or part of a larger team, Visual Analytics and Webflow Analyze gives you something new power to see what's working and what's not without ever leaving your flop. It's time to stop guessing and start iterating with insights that live exactly where your creativity happens. To find out more, go to webflow.com slash analyze.